You know, Tutaroo's great, great, great yummy little place, and they have plenty of options to keep you satisfied. And you can even catch them at the Banana Festival. So here to tell us all about it, we have Marcel McAllister. Marcel, come on over, my friend. Hello. 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 Welcome. How welcome. you doing, Melissa? I'm great. Thank you. Yeah, so, no problem. Tell me about Tutaroo's. Where did you come up with that name? So I came up with the name Tutaroo's uh, basically back then, back in the 90s and 2000s. That's where I grew up. Mm -hmm. I always loved pop culture. You yes. know, I always loved comic books and things like that, like Rocket Power and Cartoon Network. So We have a lot in common. Oh, man. Yeah, you're speaking my language. Okay, but keep going. <laughs> so, yeah, growing up, basically, uh, my family always called me uh, Tutu. So every time I would come around, they'd be like, Tutaroo, Tutaroo. Cute. So the thing I wanted to do for the business was basically just be able to take it back, you know, mm -hmm. and, and make it a, a new kind of vibe for, you know, the, the kids that don't know about that culture nowadays. Yeah. I want to be able to give them that 90s and pop culture feel. Well, you know what? What is old is new again. We're seeing a lot of 90s influence in many things, like mm -hmm. fashion, television shows that I we used to watch growing up, you know, kind of popping back up. Mm -hmm. I heard they're bringing Alf back, by the way. Oh, uh oh. Oh, yeah, yeah. There you go. There you okay. go. Okay, so... um. And, and you had mentioned you were 2-2 growing up. Mm -hmm. Let's talk, though, about the funnel cake. Like, okay. Like, why funnel cakes? So the biggest thing for me was that um, I actually came up with the business about two years ago. Okay. And at that time, I didn't even know how to make a funnel cake at all. Mm -hmm. And, you know, for me, I was just like, you know, I want something fun. I want something that's going to fit. So uh, every time I go to the fair, you know, everybody's lined up. They want a funnel cake. Oh, All the kids yes. want a funnel cake. Yeah. So my biggest thing was I want to make a funnel cake, right, and I want to make it my own creation. I want to make it to the point to where when people see my funnel cakes, they're going to say, okay, that's Tutoroo's funnel cake. Cool. And that's why we uh, make gourmet funnel cakes that separate from all other funnel cakes. Well, tell us about your gourmet funnel cakes. So right now we have our black and white funnel cake. Um, that one's going to be basically mostly for like an Oreo type of feel to gonna it. I was going to say Oreo. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm And it's very delicious. And then we have our cinnamon toast funnel cake. Now, mm -hmm. I always liked cinnamon toast crunch growing up, so I thought, okay, cinnamon toast. It's in my pantry. <laughs> <laughs> I have to admit. <laughs> and then we have our strawberry braised funnel cake, and that is inspired after a strawberry cheesecake. Oh. So very, very good. And today, actually, what we're doing is we're going to make our Bananas Foster's funnel cake that's going to be only exclusive to the Banana Festival. Well, let's get to making it. Show me, my friend. What All do you right, do? All right, let's go. So what we're going to do first is we're going to make the funnel cake inside of this hot oil right here. Okay. It usually takes about 10 seconds to make it, and then what we'll do after that is we'll put the powdered sugar on it, We'll put the ice cream on it, and then I'll make the bananas fosters in the pan by hand. Ice cream is involved. This is good. Okay, <laughs> let's do it. All right. So we're going to put the in there. Okay, and you pour in your batter. Pour in the batter. And does it matter that you have that very special spout when you make your funnel cake? Um, Actually, it does because what happens is it helps the funnel cake be able to pour in the correct way okay. and stay all in one like it's supposed to. Got it. Because so otherwise, does it turn into like some kind of big, just kind of... Mm -hmm. Lump. Blob. I mean, yeah, a blob. Which a funnel cake. I mean, the the awesome part of the funnel cake is the texture in itself. The right. Fact that it's just all this dough kind of woven in connected. together. Yeah. yeah. And okay. that's what you know brings people in for the funnel cake. Actually. Yes. Yeah, that's it's part of the joy of the funnel cake is the texture. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then obviously when you, when you do your Oreo funnel cake, so you're using kind of like a chocolate batter, I mm -hmm. imagine. I okay. am, and it's actually uh like one of my secret ingredients that I put oh, in there. Oh, well, we don't want to share that. Yeah, we definitely <laughs> don't. But it makes it very beautiful, and that's why, you know, I I put a little, you know, dash of something in there. Just so when people taste it, they get that extra kick in there. Oh, awesome. Okay, and mm -hmm. then you're going to be at the Banana Festival. You're going to be serving this one in particular, which is a Banana Foster's funnel cake yes. that you're making right now. Ooh, look at that blooming. Oh, it just kind of spread all out when you pull that up. That's awesome. Um, and where are you going to be at the Banana Festival? What, what do people look for so they can find you? So where we're going to be at is we're going to be mostly in the front, I believe. That's where the event planner told me. Okay. So when you guys get there, you guys will actually be able to find someone who will be handing out business cards. Got it. And they'll be able to hand you guys basically uh, where we'll be at. You know, hey, go check out Tutoroos. We're going to be in this section. You'll actually probably hear our music, too, because we're going to be Oh, you have some music. music? Nice. Yep. 90s? 90s music. 90s music. Awesome. There you go. Okay, so culture. listen for the 90s music. Look for oh. Tutoroos. Get yourself a delicious funnel cake. And while you're making that bananas foster with my friend, Marcel, I'm, I'm going to have uh, some of our crew come on in because I hear some bellies rumbling. They've got to dive into this deliciousness up front. Well, we got the we got the Oreo, we got the cinnamon toast crunch, and we got the cheesecake version right here of the funnel cake. This is not your ordinary funnel cake. This is not, you know, not your just run of the mill, went to the fair. Mm -hmm. Though that's delicious. I'm not knocking that. This is kicking it up a whole other notch. There he goes, diving on in. 
The Oreo funnel cake. There we go. TJ's a happy boy. Look at him. Oh, oh, getting some numbs there. All okay, right. I'm going to let you pull out and get that going and finish that. Okay. We'll come back in a little bit. But for right now, everyone, make sure you stick around because it's time for an ABC 10 News update right after the break. All right, getting some. This interview involves commercial content. The products and services featured appear as paid advertising.